Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. This will be a Do They Miss You reading. This is a seven card reading, having a look to see if there's an ex or someone that you were once connected to romantically, um, if they're missing you, if they're thinking about you, possibly even if there's um, a reconciliation between the two of you. Uh, please keep in mind though, some messages will resonate while, whilst others will not. Um, always go into this with an open mind. Please don't try to make the messages fit. If they do not, they don't make sense. Um, they don't resonate with you. Um, just thought I'd put that, out, put that out there. Now for those after private readings, all my details are below in the show more section. Otherwise, thank you so much for being here, uh, Sag. It really does mean a lot to me. So uh, let's get straight into it and see um, if someone is missing you. So someone from your past, it could be a past lover, past ex. It could be a short fling. It could be a long-term relationship you're involved in. Um, let's see if they're missing you, Sagittarius. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles, Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo with the Eight of Pentacles here. I feel like someone is trying to work on themselves or work um, work on trying to impress you is what I'm seeing here. I feel like with the physical, you know, the spider has many majestic webs to show. So I feel like there's someone trying to impress you. Um, someone is pulling out all the stops to try and get your attention in some regard here. And it could absolutely be an earth sign that's coming through here with the eight of pentacles. It's all about work. It's all about memories. It's all about creation. Um, it's all about establishing a past or past memories. So someone is either revisiting fond memories or thinking about you fondly. Um, I think in the most, um, in the for the most part, it's quite an auspicious card um, with with positive connotations. So I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, for some, I feel like someone is trying to get you to come back to them, and they're sort of um, giving you hints. Um, or leading up to a big reveal because the spider weaves his webs. Um, and it's not to say, like, I wouldn't say it's a web of lies or anything. I think it's a very positive, um, they look very magical, um, and it's not so much like a trap. Um, I feel it's it's a bit of an entanglement, so something is getting more complicated with one's feelings, or this person is trying to impress you and is doing a lot of interesting things, unusual or interesting things, to try and get your attention um, in some regard here with the Eight of Pentacles. This could be through work or career, uh, so you may know this person through, um, or still, still are in touch with them through, uh, through work, career, and or business. Okay, the Emperor, Aries energy coming through here with the Emperor card here. This is someone that isn't giving way too much, Sagittarius. Maybe it's someone that has shown you they don't have, um, they're not very emotional towards your breakup or towards your lack of, you know, disconnection. I feel like the Emperor is quite an intimidating figure and he often does have a poker face. So it's hard to um, poke and pry and understand how they're really feeling. But with the Emperor card, I feel someone's trying to play it cool. Um, someone's trying to play like it didn't affect them. Um, in some way and they're trying to move on but I honestly feel like that you know the emperor is facing you so I honestly feel like this person is still quite interested um possibly in getting back together but isn't showing it and as I said they're doing unusual things they're doing things that are out of character to perhaps gain your attention but I honestly feel with like with the emperor card some people are just trying to play it really cool um and not be overtly obvious or not um really let you in on how they're really feeling. Um, so I almost feel like something is that it's hidden. There could be a bit of a hidden agenda here as well. Um, but again, it's not a malicious energy. I just feel with the Emperor card here that there is a hidden agenda that, you know, there's a reveal. There's a reveal that's, that's um, it's building up to a reveal, but it's not happening as yet. So I feel like you're going to have to need to exercise patience because eventually there will be something that comes to the surface, but not right now because... Um, they're good at having a poker face and they're good at showing you that there is no feeling left in them um, anymore is what I'm seeing with the Emperor card here. The Emperor um, Aries energy is competitive energy, so I feel like someone might be competing with you in a way as well, competing to show that they've moved on faster, competing to show that you know their life is coming together very nicely after your breakup. Um, you know, there's always this little competition um, that we go through. 
when we leave each other, I suppose. Okay, as I said, there was a reveal. I felt like a reveal was coming and there definitely is with the High Priestess. So they definitely have something to reveal, he's Sagittarius, about feelings, about emotions. Um, it could be any sign, really. It doesn't have to be just the signs that have come up in the cards so far. I feel like with the High Priestess, someone feels spiritually still very drawn. They feel like you were, you were in their path for a reason. Um, the high the high priestess is very it's a prophecy so I feel like someone believes you're meant for them um, you know there's a strong energy of of belief and hope and um, mysticism I think someone may even be trying to attract you using the law of attraction spells um, telepathy um, subliminal messages like someone I feel is trying spiritual avenues like maybe they're even seeking a psychic or a clairvoyant or someone that can um, sorry like a psychic or a tarot reader or someone that works in the esoteric arts to help you I feel like they're consulting the spiritual world to help bring the two of you back together because on some level I feel like this person feels your kindred spirits and you're supposed to be but as I said, it is a big reveal happening around this person. I think they've got something major to reveal about your relationship, about how they feel, about their emotions, or about something that went on during your time together or your time that you were connected um, is what I'm understanding with the High Priestess here. Because it's exposure, it's freedom, it's liberation, it's independence, but it's also wisdom and foresight. Okay, the death part of Scorpio that looms here, transformation, change, with death comes life. I definitely feel like there's an X that's coming back into your path here, Sagittarius. It could be a, um, a Scorpio. I feel like with the death card, there's something to do about a reveal about an ending or the way things ended or why this ended. So it could be closure. It could also be that someone's ready to move into a new cycle with you. Um, they're either revealing something about the past or revealing that they want a fresh start with you. Um, the death card can mean putting things away, putting things in the past. For some of you out there, I feel like there's someone that is trying to move on with their life, put you in the past, isn't going to reveal their emotions, is trying to spiritually cleanse themselves from your connection. Um, because they still harbor some emotions and they want to be rid of that. But for others, I feel like there's someone that wants a fresh start with you. They want to put an end to toxic behavior or they want to put an end to this sort of um, maybe this, this competition that you have. It's about endings. Someone is still hung up about a breakup and I almost feel like it's the way things ended because the death card is endings. So I feel like the manner you broke up, the way you broke up, it could be like if it was via text or a phone call or the two of you were overseas or you had business projects going on or maybe it was very sudden, it was quite abrupt. But the, the ending is still big for them. Um, and they're still processing this in some way here, uh, Sagittarius. But, you know, Scorpio energy is mysterious. They are mysterious signs. They're very alluring. They're very mysterious. Um, they, don't, they, they can be enigmatic. They don't always reveal how they feel. So I feel like this is in conjunction with maybe this is this emperor or this Scorpio that's coming through and, and maintaining a bit of mystery. So you're not really sure. They're not giving away too much um, is what I'm seeing here, Sagittarius. Okay, this is really powerful. The Two of Cups. This is a very strong union here. The two lovers intertwined in each other's lives, doing the dance of love, offering each other their hearts. For some, I feel like there's someone that's going to come back from the past and you're going to find a new love with an old partner, an old flame, an old spouse. Um, you're going to genuinely both come into this and give it a second go. It could happen in the next few months. It might may even happen sometime this year. The two of cups can symbolize engagements weddings or a union um, a very solid union that's coming into place here so for those that have been engaged to someone married um, or in a long-term relationship or did something to commemorate your union I feel it's this person coming back and I feel for some of you they're missing you they're going to come back into your life and I wouldn't be surprised if you rekindle this relationship this romance this connection and you actually end up engaged or married to this person so I feel like there's second chances here second chances that can 
take you into your twilight years with this person is what I'm seeing. So there's longevity around them um, with the two of cups. For some, it could just be a, a um, your lives may still be intertwined somehow. So you may still have long, um, you, you may still have contact because you have mutual friends. Your lives may still be intertwined in some regard. Um, maybe because you have children together, there's still a connection that you'll have with this person here. But I honestly feel someone feels like you're their soulmate here, Sagittarius. Like maybe this is not for all of you, but honestly, with the Two of Cups, the High Priestess, the Death card, this is a strong metaphysical and spiritual energy. Someone feels they've lost a soulmate or someone feels you are their soulmate, you are their other half, you are their kindred spirit, you are their twin flame, and they're going to want a second chance with you. And for, for, for a lot of you, I feel like you'll take this person back because on some level, you too realize this. Six of Cups, beautiful. This is Cancer Pisces, uh, Scorpio energy with the Six of Cups. This is nostalgia. Someone's definitely remembering a lot of things about you. A part, the, the Death card with the Six of Cups, I definitely feel this is someone that you've had a past relationship with or a past life relationship with. I definitely feel a past relationship will will happen again. There's another cycle you will embark on with this person with the Six of Cups, in particular if you have children together. But the Six of Cups is memory, it's nostalgia, it's something that resides within their heart. I honestly feel there's a lot of sweet sweetness and sincerity to this person, Sagittarius. I mean, as I said, it could be different people, but for some I feel like the person that's coming through here is hopeful of a future with you, actually wants to have children with you or wants to um, have that family unit you once had before, wants to harmonize the relationship and wants everything to be back to a solid family union um, or unit of some kind here with the Six of Cups. I also feel like this may be a, a this water sign that's, that's dreaming about you, fantasizing about you, um, hope that's hopeful for a future that's hopeful for um, the building of a family you know that that's that's hopeful that you hit this he or she can build a family with you Sagittarius so you know this is really sweet I honestly feel like this comes from a good place um, there's a there's a really strong sweetness to this person now, of course, this won't apply to others. As I said, for others, it's the emperor energy. They're ready to, they're not revealing anything. They're ready to move on. The six of cups, yeah, they have memories. Yeah, your lives might be intertwined, but they're ready to, to work on themselves and move on and have that liberation and independence. So keep this in mind. Seven of Cups, unanswered questions, someone has a vision, someone has a purpose or a goal, maybe even a hidden agenda. They just don't know how they're going to do it. He's Sagittarius. Um, it could be this water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be someone completely different. But the Seven of Cups is someone wants to reach out or someone wants closure, but they're not sure how to go about it. It's about seeing your vision, but not being sure how it's going to manifest or how you can bring it into your experience. Um, or how you can overcome obstacles. So I really feel like someone is puzzled. This is quite a puzzled energy. Um, someone is still reflecting on your relationship. It feels puzzled about how things end, especially because it's sitting below the death card. There's definitely, um, it's, it's a relationship or a connection that ended very quickly or that had a very explosive ending or that had a very emotionally fueled ending um, is what I'm seeing here. And this is the person that's coming through here for you. So there is a longing. I do think there is a missing though. But for some, that this person will not reveal it. Whilst for others, there'll be a massive reveal, especially in regards um, to the ending of this relationship, why things ended or is questioning you um, how this happened. So I will leave it at that, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it's been insightful.